Relative humidity. The concept of humidity is very similar in concept to what we did with density. When we were learning about density, we learned that it was a fraction. Okay, so you need your mass, you need your volume, and that created a fraction of mass over volume. Relative humidity also works with fractions because relative humidity is measured as a percentage. Okay, so don't make this too difficult because when you determine a percentage on any grade, that you know any assignment that you have you have a points possible and then you have the points that you earned okay so the points that you earned is the top number and the points possible is the denominator very much the same thing with relative humidity relative humidity is a relationship between how much the air is holding of water and how much it possibly could hold again it's the points there is over the points possible idea all right, let's put this in perspective. The hotter the air is, the more water vapor it can hold. The colder the air is, the less water it can hold. Okay? So let's say for a certain temperature that the air can hold 14 grams. If the air could hold 14 grams, but it's only holding 7, that would be 7 over 14. 7 over 14. 7 grams over 14 grams. Remember, 14 grams was how much the air could hold, but it's currently holding, hold, currently holding 7. That is a fraction is simple to do. It's 7 divided by 14. You hit the percent key, you've got your answer. But clearly, without even doing that, you could do some mental math here. 7 over 14, that's half. That means the relative humidity is 50%. Temperature determines how much the air can hold. So put this into perspective. Your goal is to understand the, the relationship between temperature and humidity. The hotter the air, the more water can be in the air. Another way to say that, the hotter the air, the more water the air can hold. The colder the air, the less water the air can hold. I guess if you try to put it into some perspective, the hotter air is moving faster, and when it moves faster, it kind of expands. That leaves more room, maybe. And if the air molecules are moving slower, which means colder, perhaps because they're moving slower, they're not, they're contracting, so there's less space and less room for the, for the water. That's kind of my hypothesis. Honestly, I'd have to do some more research to find out if that theory holds any water. <laughs> holds any water, I'm talking about humidity and that that's a really bad joke I apologize I should have had uh, myself look that joke over and maybe kind of filter it out and see if it was funny apparently it wasn't that funny this is what you have to know relative humidity is a percentage it takes two values how much the air can hold how much the air is holding how much the air can hold how much the air is holding if I'm giving you a temperature the temperature determines how much the air can hold. It's very important to understand this main concept. Temperature determines how much water the air can hold. All right? Well, hopefully that made some sense to you. I think I'm a little bit more confused, and in no way or part did I make any sense. But if you watch this video at least 78 times, it might start to make more sense. If it doesn't make sense on 78, try 79. That's all I have to say for you. I'm the science guy. You take care. Huh?